but but the question that, w that that we also have to address is if the book has become the word of god how was god communicating she corrected that okay the book is not the word of god no no but let, let, i need to okay, finish ahead, finish, uh, mm -hmm. finish this mm -hmm. so if, if 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 the book is this book that has got what the word of god mm -hmm. how was god communicating with the other tribes that were not using writing as a system of communication with God because in Southern Africa we've got cultures that believe in Mwari mm -hmm. and Mwari was communicating directly to his people mm -hmm. through, through, sp through spirit mm -hmm. mediums and through the rocks mm -hmm. that is that is now departing to say are you saying we were not communicating with God before this God of 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 of, of, of uh, Hebrews mm -hmm. was was who came into the picture that's point number one secondly okay. there is also this concept that says if this book was taken and was originally written in Aramaic and when it was written in Aramaic it was translated into uh, 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 um, Latin um, 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 it was before Latin it was yeah. actually Greek, Greek, Greek as the Greek Septu Greek. as the Septuagint mm. and the Septuagint had 70 so-called prophets Septuagint, yeah. Yeah. yes Septuagint, Septuagint re they wrote the Septuagint mm -hmm. and, 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 and created the very first books uh, in 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 in, uh, in uh, Greek, mm. and from there, it was then taken by Constantine, and then created into the Vulgate, into Latin. Mm. Then, for six hundred years, it disappeared, was held by the Roman Catholic Church that Constantine served, and all of a sudden it comes back again six seven hundred years later as a full book in which the books that were written as the old as the new testament by people like paul were put together collated over 300 years and then put together into one book then this was kept by the very same church that presided over the very first colonial system that colonized israel that colonized the hebrews and then it comes back as a full book that's coming out of this evil establishment called the Roman Catholic Empire and the Roman Catholic Church to be brought to people as the word of God. Now my question is, <laughs> why would this evil be so interested in giving us the truth? Why I would they give us a book I, 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 no, it's too good. that empowers us? Go no further, go okay, no further. So the me, doctor me, is in me, the house. Me, I, I will allow the doctor to, to okay. mull that one. Uh, first of all, your, your first understanding of the cultural impact of the oral tradition is without question. Without question. And yes, God communicated with us like that forever. Because understand, the book of Genesis is written by Moses' hand but it's dictated by God, because Moses mm. wasn't alive then. Mm. How did that happen? For me, I, you know, I love God because he's fun. So he let everybody tell their stories. So we have the Gilgamesh legend, we have legends, we have stories, we have all kinds of stuff. And then Moses gets, sits down with God, and God said, this is how it really happened. Because the only place where woman's creation is, is in this book. It's the only place that the creation of woman on purpose is only found here. Mm. There's certain things that are found here that are found no place else. So it's like God said, ah, let them write, let them talk, let them, or let them do whatever they're doing for thousands of years. Because we remember Genesis one and one is a complete concept. In the eternal beginning, God created. It's a period. Close then down. Genesis one and two, it's void and without form. Something happens between one and two. Mm. And God shows us. Ezekiel knows something. Jeremiah knows. So you have to put the precepts together. This is what biblical scholarship has to do because everything that could be said is not there. Mm. So, so that's the first thing. So, yes, God was communicating. And the concept that Yeshua brings, well, no, the concept that Moses brings about one God is, is amazingly astronomical. Why? Because there was a rock God, there's a sun God, there's a water God, there's a mountain God, there's a, there's a God for everything because no one's brain could capacitate the all-encompassing God. So when Moses introduces that to the children of Israel in Egypt, they like, because remember they're living in Egypt almost 400 years and they got 50,000 gods. But we still haven't asked, answered the, 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 the critical question. Is, How do we know that this is God's word, particularly if this God's word was sitting with the devil's children for well, so long, who then gave it again to the world? Well, How do we know it's God's word? Because, first of all, <laughs> no matter what we say about the devil, he's just a prince. He is not God. 
God allows all kinds of things to happen for his work, glory and his word. There's enough in here to convince us biblically, scholastically, anthropologically who God is. Your heart will tell you. That's why we got the Holy Spirit to confirm it. Yeshua is the word, not these words here. This is a history book. So we've even miscalculated it. It is not the Old Testament. It's the Hebrew history. It's the history of God's interaction with the people. Full stop. And he's asked those people to trust him enough so that they could be a emblem for the rest of the people. I want to throw in something. The simple. <clears throat> so, so yes, they could mess it up, but there's enough in it that they can't mess it up. Plus, really now, when God, when Job was messing, Satan is not an independent actor. This is the other problem we have. We, we've set up a dichotomy where there's good and evil, where there's God and Satan. There's no such thing. There's God and Satan. But when we talk, we act like they are dueling together. They are dueling together. They are not. I'll tell you why they're dueling together. Okay. The world we live in has got a word that has given certain promises. Promises that the Christian or the, or the, or the, or the children of God shall heal the sick. They shall yes. raise the dead. Yes. They shall they shall they shall turn um, deserts into a wilderness into 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 a forest. Yes, that's not happening. Why isn't it what, happening? Everything that everything that the devil is trying to do, which is to corrupt, mm -hmm. to destroy, mm -hmm. to steal, mm -hmm. to colonize, mm -hmm. to kill, mm -hmm. is happening. You know why people are being wiped you out? You know why? Because his people are more dedicated than God's people. I want us to wait, 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 see, allow me to, people, allow me to come between you. I knew this was going to get heated up. Allow me to come between, between the two of you right there. The, 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 I want to clarify the point number one. There are two, two Bibles that I believe in. Actually, let me make them three. The first one is the, what I call the natural Bible, the natural text, according to the book of Psalms 19, which is nature. Yes. Which is, if you yes. get up Clear. on the mountains, go to the rivers, Clear. Just look if you, if, the you if you can just stand and look and at look, the ends, you, you, you can it. see a kingdom you that it. is taking yes. place right there. Yes. And the order yes. that is happening. Yes, I, I'm an artist. Yes, I create things. Yes, and I, 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 it will it will take me lots of faith to think that this head can just fall from the sky. Yes, it takes me sitting down weaving grass mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it, boom, it's there. So mm -hmm. as a creative yes. person, yes. I yes. know you need a creator yes. and a designer to a designer yes. Yes. to have yes. a design. Yes. Th that part I'm, I don't doubt it. Yes. So th the first book, is nature. which is the book of the heart, yeah. where yes. at, at a certain level of spirituality, you get it. Trees can talk to you. You get it. Birds Absolutely. can whisper to you. Oceans. Rocks can oceans. You, 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 so and for me, the natural part without text, t talks of a people who could have yes. lived with such a clean diet, clean lifestyle, clean. Who heard that? Who could actually hear and that. needed nothing else. And that Bible is true because within yes. that Bible, yes. killing, murder, stealing, sleeping with someone's wife, all those things were well, printed well, in your heart. Well, printed That's in it. your heart. You, you're well, following. I like in your heart. Then book no. number two. Okay. Book number two then becomes the, the, the script that is written. Where now those that have experienced theophanic encounters yes. in various levels of yes. their spirituality collect to themselves and write, and write some certain text. But yes. again, this text must be compared with this other text yes, that is already absolutely, happening. Absolutely. And the third text that I'm talking about is the text of the heart, yes. which is almost the conscience, the, yes. person, the person's conscience. Yes. So while, and while we're doing this, and I want to, I want to zoom in here mm. because I, I, I'm, I'm seeing something here. He's talking about, he's talking about a government. Yes. You're talking about a kingdom. Yes. yes. And how governments are achieving their objectives. Yes. And you are saying how the kingdom is it's failing. It's not. It's failing. Yes. To, uh, to, 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 yes. to, to achieve yes what the government is doing. So yes. I'm, I'm not hearing a controversy here. Not I'm actually hearing negligence and dedication yes. on both sides. <laughs> but, but as an African that is speaking for Africans, mm. I have been confronted many times by the question that how do you reconcile trying to speak about the rising of Africa mm. while using this book, this doctrine, this concept of Christianity. That's that's what we're talking about. Some when they when when this contradiction comes, how do you gel the two? Because there seems to be a contradiction. I used to fight that as a Christian to say there is no contradiction. It is one and the same thing. If you just stop looking at Jesus as a white Jesus, but there are questions 
that keep getting raised that yes he might he might be a black jesus but the promises that are made in this book the, the ones that are supposed to manifest themselves mm -hmm. they are not manifesting well, because and this book was compiled by the, by the very same enemy who who colonized the hebrews who destroyed the hebrew empire mm. who took hebrew land and literature and literature and, and then he went and sat with it and, and then he did his yeah. and when we look at how everything else that has destroyed nature mm. Mm -hmm. that has destroyed the world that has destroyed mm -hmm. humanity mm -hmm. has come in writings the writings of science the mm -hmm. writings of economics mm -hmm. the writings of accounting the writings of politics. all of them have been corrupted by this creature that has a, 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 a desire to dominate, a desire to destroy nature, a desire to the prince to, of this world. Kill but it's the a prince of this world. But it's a creature. But let me just say two things. The blessings of God are free. All the blessings. Salvation, goodness, mercy, kindness, all free. You don't have to do anything to get it, but just say yes. But, but all let me finish. All the promises of God that you are saying are all if and then. Go through that scripture from beginning to end. If you do this, then this happens. Every part of the, the gifts that you're saying are not manifesting are conditional on our choice. The problem with that is that the most evil men in this world who break those very same rules have everything. No, they don't have everything. They do. Though. No, they don't. Because, because, because what people they, are saying is that these gifts that you say are free mercy love yes, yes all those are things that do not benefit people that are, are living foreign, in hunger they are foreign to evil people and no. not only that even the children the children of nature the children of this continent mm. do not need love and mercy they are dying of hunger they don't have shelter start from Be that. because what what has happened is whenever i'm trying to have my african conversation with people I've had to start looking at it while divorcing from the Christian aspect, uh, from the spiritual aspect, because I myself still have a lot of confusion and have to discover the truth there before I speak about it. However, we cannot speak about any nation, any continent mm. without the spirituality, oh, because correct. the spirituality is the foundation mm. of everything. And what I'm noticing is that our spirituality in its own respect is where our biggest problem starts. Mm. We have lost African spirituality. Africans do not even understand what is their spirituality. Mm. And when you look at how it is that Christianity has become a very central player in the, in, in, in the, in, in the uh, spiritual space of Africa, mm. it has actually not brought Africans together, but it has divided Africans. Mm. Because when the Christian comes into the equation, mm. he does not want to speak to the African traditionalist, mm. to the African spiritualist, mm. to the African who doesn't believe in Christianity. Muslims, you know. Automatically, mm. and then with the Muslims who also came onto the continent, mm. and they divided the continent. So the spiritual aspect is becoming tricky for me, especially when the book, the manual of a particular spirituality, be it the Quran or the Bible, come into the equation, they begin to cause problems. One, because people don't understand them. Two, there's a chance that they've been tempered with. And three, they have got concepts and doctrines that sometimes go against Africanism in its own respect. Mm. But I believe that that's where we need to start. Mm -hmm. African spirituality must be founded and grounded because spirit mm. is the way that humanity achieves its objectives of the designer. Mm. When the designer created man, man was created for a purpose, mm. to achieve a certain purpose. Mm. That purpose can only be known by the designer. Mm. And the designer can only speak to man through, through the, the spirit. spirit. Mm. And that is why I do understand this conversation of the Holy Spirit, the Bible. But my spirit, and I'm a Holy Spirit-filled Christian, who has got all these questions that are now conflicting with what it is that I heard in the christian doctrine mm. and the question is what spirit inside me mm. is beginning to question these doctrines mm. so we've got to find ourselves mm. spiritually as africans mm. and our spirituality can only be true if it brings us together mm -hmm. if it helps yeah. us maintain nature mm -hmm. if it helps us to prosper mm. together
Mm. As long yes. as we're prospering as individuals, as long as we're prospering by destroying another person, I believe that we are not in the right spirituality. Mm. So we have to ground that. Mm. Once we ground our spirituality, it will then guide our governance system. Mm -hmm. People need mm. to be led. Wow. The leaders mm. of a people need to be led by the right spirit mm -hmm. that is aligned with the designer mm. Mm -hmm. for them to meet mm -hmm. their purpose. Mm. Mm -hmm. I believe that all the leaders that we have on the African continent right now are not tuned with any ideology or purpose of a designer. That is why they're looking for uh, foreign investment. They're looking for industry that is destructive to the environment, industry that exploits people's labor. It exploits uh, 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 people and destroys people with the products that it brings up. And I keep saying to Africans, the reason why you're central, the reason why you're the most important people is life came out of Africa and it came out of the womb of a black woman. It came out of a black God put seed or the creator put seed in blackness to give life to everything else. When we look at what it is that the Chinese and the Europeans are creating, it's death. Their technology is death. Their knowledge is death. The reason why Europeans came from Europe to Africa is they were running from the death they had created there through industry, pollution. through pollution, mm -hmm. through destroying the soil, destroying war. the air, war. and war. war. They war. finished all their war. foods, they finished all their animals, and this yeah. I always insist. Mm. No European can come to Africa and yeah, say no they are bringing anything Europe. to Europe, <laughs> to Africa. They finished their animals, including the bears and the lions, that they had to run away because there was nothing to eat. That is yeah. a death culture that only Africa can remedy. And they came here and they call it uh, industrialization. And they came mm. to Africa mm. and they said we were behind. And they mm. said they brought us yes. civilization. Yes. Mm. And yes. by saying yes. they're bringing us civilization is they brought us this culture in which you have to defecate in the water that you drink. Yet the basics of African knowledge says you do not defecate where you eat. In the well. Where still you yes. cannot defecate in the well. Right. So this toxic culture can only be remedied by African Ubuntu, by mm -hmm. African Hunu, mm. that starts with the basics. Mm. Do not crap where you eat. Mm. Do not crap in the water. So that means mining licenses mm. that require a water license, mm. where we take fresh water, give the rights to that fresh water, to a mine <laughs> Who that is going cyanide. to put it in cyanide. Yes. Put sulfuric acid. Get some few grains of gold. And this mm -hmm. is where I also want to speak to Africans. Last time a gentleman came to me and says, I've got a contract from one of the biggest mining companies, Glencore. And this contract, I've got a truck, I need trucks that can take sulfuric acid from South Africa to Congo to Fungutengamera mine. Once we get the, chem uh, the chemicals there, then we must bring back copper. copper. To be taken out of the Durban port. Immediately I told him I'm not interested. How can I be the kind of African who wants to build Africa, but I am facilitating a deal mm -hmm. and making money mm -hmm. of taking mm -hmm. sulfuric acid that is going to be put into the into, rivers. Into, into, into Congolese soil, into the Congolese water table, mm -hmm. and into Congolese rivers that is going to affect the health of the Congolese people in the name of making money. You're gonna make a few millions. And I'm gonna make the few millions for what? To buy a car? A house, nice clothes, and eat in white restaurants, and support white companies on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange that won't even allow South Africans to participate in their own economy, that have monopolized all the real estate, that have monopolized everything so that the South African cannot be a participant in his own economy, because there's a monopoly system that destroys blackness and builds this destructive character, person, and criminal creature. against creature. humanity. You it creature. So no, that's a uh, wonderful word. Criminal <laughs> against humanity uh. that caused apartheid and impoverished the people of, of, of South Africa to take the money out. I can't be a part of such a system. Surely. So this is where now we also have to fix. After we've got leadership, we need leadership that understands what we must invest in in Africa. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. will grow Africa. Not what will continue to destroy Africa mm. as a cancer, mm. like the industry, the type of industry mm. that we have, the type of farming that we have, the type of economic system, which is what I was trying to break up in a piece that I wrote for people this week. To say, when you look at the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, when you look at the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange, you look at the Botswana Stock Exchange, when you look at the investors that are the biggest investors in those stock exchanges, you will see that they are predominantly South African companies and American companies. 
the biggest shadow banks of the world, which are four. These are the biggest banks in the world. We've got Vanguard, we've got BlackRock, we've got uh, uh, State Street, and then we've got Vanguard. These are the biggest shadow banks in the world. No funds are bigger than these four funds. They're all invested in South Africa, Zimbabwe, Botswana, and all the stock exchanges on the continent. They then have investors that come from Momentum, Liberty, uh, 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 what is this other one? Um, Sunlums. Um, uh, Sunlums, mm. the big South African financial institutions, mm. which also have shareholding of these big shadow banks from America again. In Zimbabwe, we've got sanctions, but these big shadow banks are, are in, are in Zimbabwe. Yeah. And my question is, why? Why are our stock exchanges monopolized and dominated by these American four big banks that were involved in slavery, involved in the Second World War, which brought about colonization of African countries to be shifted from Europe to the Americans through their corporate control? Why are they still invested in Africa? Because then it means Africa is still controlled by charter companies and the finances of the slave owners and the finances of the colonial empires like the Rothschilds, like the Rockefellers, like the Morgans, who are now invested in these shadow banks. Mm. That is our economy. We must change that economy. Mm -hmm. And we must stop the so language. You went on spirituality, you went on governance, now you're on economics and industry and, um, and uh, shadow banks. And remember... Uh. Those are all dependent on spirituality that mm. builds our governors who determine mm. who is investing in our country, mm. who determine the investment policies in our countries. Mm. Right now, we were trying to create a fund in Zimbabwe where we say we want 100,000 Zimbabweans to be able to come together, collect their $10, $50 into a fund. And we want to make sure that that fund can only invest in the control of specific resources. Right now we've got gas in Zimbabwe. It's not being exploited because no foreign investors came. Yet Zimbabweans have lots of money. If 100,000 of us come, a million of us come, we put our $10, our $100 together, we will have enough money to exploit our own gas on our terms with our own facilities. But if you try to look for a vehicle, a legal vehicle, to collate these funds and then target them to a spe specific project you won't find such a vehicle because our laws have got vehicles like mutual funds uh, uh, uh investment banking. funds mm. some form of a banking system that prescribes where these monies must be invested we've got to change the laws the laws that suit us not this roman dutch law system You're that is created by a, a minority mm. Zimbabwe was yeah, colonized yeah. by only 2% white people. Mm -hmm. Those are the Romans. And they brought their Roman, Dutch law, English law, discovery law, which is the colonization law, mm -hmm. and they imposed it on us. And we remained with that Roman, Dutch we law. We politicians to manage it. We, only cre mm -hmm. we even created a constitution recently oh, in no, which our government has said it will compensate white farmers for land that they stole and developments that they made on stolen land. You can never develop a stolen piece of property. You can only defile it, you can only vandalize it, because anything you do on someone's property without their authority is vandalism. Mm. But we are going to compensate. We are going to change international legal custom. And we are going to create a new legal custom of compensating thieves for what they stole. Mm. We are going to compensate a criminal who steals your car for putting rims and putting tints and then using it and devaluing it mm. for as long as they have done, we are going to compensate them. And yet the Jews, and I say the Jews, not the Hebrews, That's right. after Second World War, mm. they were compensated You're right. mm. for That's being oppressed right. just for six years. And Africans for 400 years. Uh, we've no, got Emerson Munanga. 700 years, maybe. We've, got, we've got Emerson Munanga, my president now, together with a ZANU PF, the most radical and most uh, 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 revolutionary political party on the African continent, writing a constitution in which they are going to compensate the people mm. that killed our ancestors, took their heads, mm. took their land, cut the trees off the land. Okay, I think uh, you've covered quite. Um, a huge terrain and i didn't want to interrupt you i wanted you to give us a, a full a full length uh, conversation in that in that discussion <laughs> let me finish off quickly yeah so we said we need to change the legal system it mm -hmm. must be african it must stop being roman dutch it mm -hmm. must stop being the colonial discovery law uh, a system that we're using right now our constitutions must serve the people of africa and benefit them that's mm -hmm. the purpose of making the law and the zimbabwe's law 
constitution is a living document, we must change this compensation of white farmers. Then the education system, mm. the one that frames our mind, the one socializes us. Mm. Software, this is education, what we're doing right now. And all the textbooks that need to develop Africa haven't been written. We must write them from the content that we generate on shows like this. And once we've got the education system right, we then change our agriculture. This nonsense of using hybrids, seeds that don't reproduce, seeds that are owned by certain companies to produce our food, GMOs that are owned by other companies to produce our food, is a clear nonsense and common sense will tell you we need seeds that can reproduce, mm. we need seeds that we own that are not owned by anybody else. These fertilizers, we must stop using them. That now needs to be the education system that tells us. This, this double entry system of accounting, where we have a multiple extraction system, but we have a double entry system that only what is about the bottom line in our language you don't have bottom line and profit so that means that we need to start having accounting systems that go with our culture and value system we don't have profit bottom line and exploitation in those and we don't have these resources people are not resources so we Capital. need to change that that language mm -hmm. and foreign direct investment all that has to stop economics the this the subject that looks at making a, a good, uh, making uh, resources scarce putting them into the hands of the people value. so that they can make a profit, mm -hmm. we need to change that. Our resources are not scarce. We have enough resources. That's why we had communalism in Africa. <laughs> so we need to have studies that go hand in hand with our culture, mm. value system, and our circumstances. Mm. And I will, I will reiterate. Wow, it. wow. It's, quite a, it's quite a mini lecture there. You know, it reminds me of my old college days where you <laughs> sit around and hear a student presenting a paper. The, the paper was uh, quite a landscape from spirituality to economics to governance to education to our agriculture, fertilizers, you know, GMOs, uh, commercial law. And, and quite, quite, quite an elaborate, elaborate <laughs> conversation. <laughs> see, I was listening, you see? Yeah. I, see you listening. Yes. <laughs> I was listening. He's 